During this difficult time, the United Arab Emirates, my country, was able to launch the probe, a probe to Mars. The HOPE probe indeed represents hope that our region is capable of advancement and progress if governments and people embrace science. After the United Arab Emirates sent astronaut Hazza al-Mansouri last year as the first Arab astronaut to reach the International Space Station and launched a peaceful nuclear power plant, this accord opened up prospects for a comprehensive peace in the region. Sad al-Hudur. Inna salam yihtaj ila shaja'a. Wa sana'at al-mustaqbal tihtaj ila ma'rika. والنهوض بالأمم يحتاج إلى إخلاص ومثابرة لقد أتينا اليوم لنقول للعالم أن هذا نهجنا السلام مبدأنا وما كان ومن كانت بداية صحيحة ستكون إنجازاته مشرقة بإذن الله شكرا جزيلا Thank you Mr. President Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen Peace requires courage and shaping the future requires knowledge the advancement of nations requires sincerity and persistence. We have come today to tell the world that this is our approach and that peace is our guiding principle. Those who begin things in the right way will reap bright achievements with the grace of God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. With the grace of God, Thank sir. You very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the minister of the foreign affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Mr. President, the First Lady, Prime Minister, Your Highness, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, Today is a truly historic occasion, a moment of hope and opportunity for all the peoples of the Middle East, and in particular for the millions in our younger generations. The declaration supporting peace between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel is an historic step on the road to genuine and lasting peace security and prosperity across the region and for all who live there, regardless of religion, sect, ethnicity, or ideology. For too long, the Middle East has been set back by conflict and mistrust, causing untold destruction and thwarting the potential of generations of our best and brightest young people. Now, I'm convinced we have the opportunity to change that. Today's declaration was made possible by the vision, courage, and commitment of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, who, supported by <laughs> supported by the people of Bahrain, has protected, institutionalized, and enhanced Bahrain's centuries-old spirit of coexistence and harmony, and has the wisdom to recognize that genuine cooperation is the most effective means to achieve peace and to safeguard legitimate rights. Thank you, Your Majesty, for this vision of peace for the region based on trust, respect, and understanding between all faiths, races, and nations. To our brothers in the United Arab Emirates, I congratulate you on your own momentous peace accord being signed today with Israel. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed has shown great leadership and
UN engagement that protects the rights and interests of countries and peoples in the region. In particular, I want to express my deep appreciation to President Donald Trump. and his administration. Mr. President, your statesmanship and tireless efforts have brought us here today and made peace a reality. And to Secretary Pompeo, 